nature what gave birth to us what keeps us alive and when the time comes what transports us to the worlds unknown while our environment is significant part of nature mankind has time and again slaughtered it what is meant by this is man going to remain selfish for his own well-being or does he have a chance to live peacefully alongside nature's finest creatures my quest for an answer found its conclusion when i came across a glorious example of the connection of man with nature an example which proves that man need not be selfish all the time an example that instills a ray of hope that man can indeed coexist with nature in peace a home for the tiny paws and a tranquil place of rest for the four legged beauties in the palms of man feeling safe and rescued in the heart of metropolitan chennai i was lucky enough in my quest to come across this man who gives hope to these beautiful creatures the force behind all the animal rescues in india the incredible effort behind the colossal mission to save the beings who have shared this planet with us Mr Don Williams an experienced and astute rescuer who has dedicated his entire post retirement life to serving and rescuing animals and celebrating his successful journey with them Jai Hind my name is Don William I am the general manager rescues for the Blue Cross of India I joined the Blue Cross of India in the year 19 and 2010 in 2010 I joined Blue Cross of India and uh, since then i've been doing a lots of rescues so i had to improve our skills in rescue to rescue animals by learning their behavior and learning the behavior of the animal that is in distress and the animals that are stray animals feral animals unknown animals animals that are on the street so different types of animals i had to improve my knowledge in their behavior and uh, this helped in conducting a lot of rescues i train a lot of people to do rescues volunteers they are a pill- they are a, one of the pillars of the blue cross of india who assist me in uh, technical uh, rescue and uh, disaster management the blue cross of india also does a lot of disaster uh, attends lots of disasters like cyclones uh, floods uh, even including earthquakes and uh, uh, many other things so this is i have a military background and uh, it helps me very well uh, animal rescues i started at a very early age when i was in school so i uh, it was difficult for me to see an animal that was in distress and to be unattended so we had a lot of government veterinarians who assisted us and they were more compassionate in the olden days than today today's uh, veterinary science is very commercial unlike the previous the past days and that encouraged me and helped me we had a lot of uh, uh, elderly people who also encourage and that was that encouragement brought me through helping out animals even today Mr Williams has traveled to many countries in order to spread the word on animal rescue and related advanced techniques he adopts a strategic approach and analyzes situations carefully before any rescue as the conditions differ every time depending on each rescue when asked about his favorite rescue here's what he had to say so one of my uh, favorite rescues was uh, do, conducting executing a very successful rescue on an elevated corridor, corridor near paris corner uh, a buffalo was hit by a speeding train an electric train and uh, this was and he, uh, she fell on an elevated corridor so the uh, uh, high tension cables that were running above her uh, didn't uh, permit a crane to approach those high tension cables the traffic was very high below uh, it was a subway and the traffic below the road traffic also was very high rail traffic and road traffic was very high so the uh, police and the fire department uh, called uh, blue cross of india to rescue this buffalo that was uh, 20 feet above the road 
on an elevated corridor. So we brought down that buffalo in the midst of a lot of uh, spectators. Uh, the police, the fire service, public, everyone. So executing that rescue, a successful rescue in the midst of so much of pressure was one of my uh, most successful rescue with very few people we conducted a tightrope rescue. Mr. Williams possesses a high spirit in the Blue Cross Committee as he constantly cracks jokes and has everyone in splits. Youngsters who receive his direction and guidance feel motivated by his presence and laughter at all times and their happiness to serve under his guidance shows. They have been trained with the latest equipment from France and have been fully equipped for safety. Mr. Williams ensures the importance of everyone's life and takes no chance to undertake a rescue without it. He strictly insists that everyone should wear on a harness while doing so. Today, rescue is very easy because uh, the technology is very high. So every rescue is uh, possible because of the technology. Uh, right around the world, uh, scientists are developing high-tech uh, equipment to conduct a successful rescue. So in the future days, if the youngsters are compassionate, kind and compassionate, and want to leave their comfort zone, uh, they will be very successful with this technology. Sometime during the talk, Mr. Williams received an alert informing him that a cow named Meenakshi needed to be rescued. Without a second thought, I asked him if I could be a part of the rescue. He graciously agreed and said, we will need more hands to rescue a cow. Then we took off in a mobile to Manali, Chennai and got to the crisis spot. A cow had got stuck in a pool of muddy water while grazing and was unable to get up. Its feet had become numb and had been stuck in the pool for a day. The owner of the cow with a few people had tried a lot of ways to get it back on its feet before calling the Blue Cross. Mr. Don and his volunteers took time to assess the situation. After four hours, they managed to get it out across the wall using a pulley lock system designed in France that helped rescue this cow. After this moment, I realized that just physical efforts and brain to perform the rescue, it was a strong heart required to do it. When asked about his journey and what he would be remembered as, Mr. Don says, Being remembered as, yeah, if I've given a second chance, if I've been given a second chance in life, I would like to start my journey in animal welfare from a student, not have a break in some military organization, but uh, be into animal welfare and grow old into animal welfare. Animals, they need people. They need a lot of people to assist them, to help them, to reduce their pain and suffering. And Blue Cross of India is one of the best organizations uh, we do the most number of animal rescues, technical animal rescues in the whole world every day. We are Blue Cross of India is the architect of the animal birth control program. I would like to, be, I, if I'm given the second chance, I would like to be associated with the Blue Cross of India as like one of our volunteers from a very young age.